Hey guys, how you going? I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to another video. Um, I've got curly hair today. I've been having a bit of a meh week. I think we all know how they feel. So yesterday I took a day to myself and I painted my nails, I curled my hair, I put some fake tan on uh, in an attempt to just relax um, and it's worked I think. So we're rolling with the crazy, I mean my hair's usually crazy but it's even crazy today. Anyway, today I'm going to be showing you some of my workout gear, um, some of my favorite things. I basically live in the same outfits. I train pretty much solely in one style of clothing and I have some stuff that I just swear by and love and I often get a lot of questions. So I'm gonna go through um, mostly exercise gear, some trainers, some clothes, but also my sunglasses because I get a lot of questions about that and some of the jewelry that I always wear as well because you guys always ask me about it too. Um, so if that sounds like something you're interested in, stay tuned and I hope you enjoy this video. I've never done one like this before so we'll see how it goes. Alright, so the first thing we're going to talk about is leggings. Probably the question I get asked the most, what leggings do I usually wear? I pretty much solely, in fact, I do solely live in Lululemon leggings. Um, I've tried to find replacements, I've tried to find other types, but I always come back to Lululemon. They're just, for me, the most comfortable for my body and also for my training. So I mainly wear the Lululemon Aligns, which is what I'm wearing today, and I've got them in quite a few colors. What I really like about them is they come in lots of neutral colors, and I, as you will see as this goes on, I wear very neutral colors. So I wear like black, gray, blue, and pretty much white, maybe baby pink if I'm feeling adventurous. But other than that, you'll find me in those colors. So they have a really good range of nice neutral colors, but they do also come in patterns as well. So here's a pair of Align leggings that I have. I have them in so many different colors. I have them in this in black, I have navy, this is like a charcoal color, and also in khaki as well. And um, I could have more and more and more. I mean, I don't think I can ever have enough Aligns, but I wear them in a size two, that sounds small, but Lululemon sell all their products in American sizing, so that's a UK six, and I buy the Alliance with a 28 inch inseam, which means they come to, I'll show you if I roll my sock down, they come to just above my ankle, if you can see, which is the perfect, the perfect length for me, I'm five foot four for reference by the way, um, but they do also come in a 25 inch that so comes a little bit higher above your ankle. They are a high waisted legging, so my belly button is here, it comes to about an inch above my belly button, which is perfect for me. Uh, but like I say, what I love about them the most is that they're so, so soft, and why that matters to me is because I have psoriasis. So if you're new to my channel, if you've not seen my videos before, I have an autoimmune condition called psoriasis, which means my skin can be really sensitive to fabrics, and I particularly find that the Having to pull up leggings when you're exercising really causes a lot of friction and causes me a lot of pain. And what I love is I don't have to do that with these leggings, they just stay. As soon as I put them on and they're on me, they ain't going anywhere, they're not slipping down or anything like that. So I can do yoga, calisthenics, strength training, whatever I want, I can even run in them and they will stay and I don't have to keep pulling them up, which is fantastic. So they're pretty plain in their design, they're pretty minimalist, I mean they just have the small logo at the top here, which is the Lululemon logo, but other than that, literally just plain leggings, and they are really just like a second skin, so I kind of just forget that I'm wearing them. And like I say, I literally spend every single day in these. Now there is some downsides to these leggings, uh, one being the cost. Now, I don't really see it as a downside because the cost per wear for me has been so low. I bought these, like I said, about three years ago, and considering I wear them most days, they have lasted so long, and I don't see them having to be replaced any time in the future. So really, I've got a lot of bang for my buck, I guess you could say, but they do cost 88 pounds. Uh, I can't remember what they cost in America or in Australia, but they're obviously gonna be about equivalent to that. Um, so on the pricier end of the spectrum, but to me, well worth the money. The only other downside that I found is that they do pick up a lot of lint. So it's worse for me because I've got the cats in the house and one of my cats, Alfie, you probably have seen him on my channel before, is very, very fluffy and he leaves fluff everywhere. So I only have to walk through a room with him in and I'm covered in it. But you know, nothing that a lint roller can't fix. And I 
find them so comfortable that I'm more than happy to buy lint rollers and then roll myself a couple times a day instead. So the other type of Lululemon leggings that I will wear is the Wonder Under and basically it's a slightly thicker version of the Lululemon Align so in terms of the thickness of the fabric slightly thicker and slightly lower waist as well so these ones sit around my belly button so just a little bit lower um, but again these are fantastic I find I would wear these less for full-on workout sessions um, but if I was going for a walk I would probably wear them or if I was just doing some light training then I'd wear them I think these actually can look a little bit more flattering than the aligns do but uh, in terms of comfort I would always pick the aligns here he is the monster himself Alfie so this is the culprit who gets the fluff all over my leggings but I can forgive him because he's so cute Anyway, he's going back down. He's usually at my feet when I'm filming. You guys just don't see it. Right, okay, we're gonna move on to sports bras. Right, if you don't like Lululemon, this is probably not gonna be the video for you because most of my sports bras are Lululemon as well. So I'll just show you the one I'm wearing. I have this one in a couple of different colors. So this one is called the Flow Y, as in the letter Y. Y bra. Um, it's a pretty basic bra. Again, it comes in pretty plain colours. This one's actually like a camo, like a grey camo colour. Um, I really like these ones because they have just that basic bit down the back, so it's not too restrictive. You can't really feel it when you're training. Um, and I think it looks quite nice as well because it's quite plain, a little bit different. Um, nice thick band at the bottom, super soft again, and most of the colours will match. Sorry about Alfie. We'll match the leggings as well, the aligns or the wonder unders. So like I said, I have this in a few different colors. This one is the blue version. I'm not sure exactly what the color is, but I will put it down below for you guys. Um, so it's the blue one. They do come, all their bras come with the little pads in them. I tend to take them out. I sometimes have them in, sometimes I don't, but they don't really bother me too much. Um, I think I've lost quite a few of them, so most of them I don't wear them. Uh, but this one hasn't got it in at the moment and it's just a super soft thin material whereas this one does have it in but it doesn't make a huge amount of difference. And the other one that you probably see me wear a lot is this bra here which is called the Free to Be Sports Bra. Again I have this in about three different colours because once I find something that's good and it works for me I'm going to keep wearing it so I'll put this one on so you guys can see what it looks like. All right, this is the third time filming this because Alpha keeps scratching the mirror, but this is the free to be sports bra. So I really like this one. It's nice and plain. It's got a pretty back to it. What I particularly like about it is it's quite high up. Um, I don't like anything necessarily that comes quite low and is tight to my rib cage. I have quite big ribs. They stick out quite far. And also that's a place where I get a lot of my psoriasis. So anything that's causing friction or really restraining it is uncomfortable and also hurts my skin. So this is fantastic for that. Again, it's got removable cups. It's very, very simple, plain. You can't feel it's even there. The only thing is it's probably not for high resistance training, like high impact training, sorry. Um, which is fine for me because I use it more like yoga, calisthenics. I do do hit with it, but I have small boobs. So for me, it's not gonna be an issue. If you had bigger boobs, it's definitely not got the most support, but super super comfortable for day-to-day -day training and going to the gym and that sort of thing and this is the last style of sports bra that i wear from lululemon i absolutely love the color of this one um, i can't remember the name but i will find it and put it down below because they definitely still sell this but it's very similar to what i'm wearing it's just got two straps on the back instead and a thicker back band here rather than having just one piece there. It's a little bit thicker. Um, so this one's good. The only thing I find, and I have small boobs, like I said, uh, is that if I'm doing exercises, my boobs, for example, yoga, my boobs will actually fall out the top of this. So probably not something I would wear to a yoga class, but um, definitely can wear it to the gym if I'm not doing anything too crazy. And I find it looks just super cute with outfits as well. So. Again, super soft, comes in tons of different colors. They last forever. I've had this one for about two years. This one I've had for about two years as well. And like I say, I wear them every single day and they've just lasted the test of time. So absolutely love them. I'm not affiliated to Lululemon. I just only ever wear it just because it works for me. All right, so you'll notice that in a lot of my videos or in my photos, I tend to train in a sports bra and leggings. Um, if I'm on my own and I'm not filming and I'm just doing my own thing, then I tend to wear a vest or a t-shirt, just a baggy t-shirt or something like that on top. 
I actually bought a load of stuff recently, which I'm going to be putting into a separate haul video. Um, and I also bought some leggings and a few bits from other brands that I've not tried before, such as Gymshark and stuff like that. So I'm going to be doing that in a separate video, but I'm going to touch on these long sleeve crop tops. I never thought I'd be a long sleeve crop top kind of girl at all, but this one is super comfy. I've been getting into them recently, but this is probably my favorite one. So this is from My Protein, and really it's the perfect length. So it comes to, well, these are the aligns. So it comes to the top of the leggings. If I was wearing the wonder unders, which are a little bit lower, um, they would come to, there'd be like a nice decent gap there. But I just love the feel of this one. It doesn't hurt my skin. It feels nice and soft and it's not restrictive, but I think it's also quite flattering and I absolutely love the color as well. So this is like a Tiffany green, which is like my favorite color. Um, so perfect for videos, training and that sort of thing, especially when it's a little bit colder. Doesn't show up too much sweat either, which is fantastic. It does show a little bit, but um, not too bad. So this is probably what I would go for if I just wanted a long sleeve top, something to look a little bit prettier. But other than that, I either train in my sports bra and leggings or I'll just chuck on a t-shirt. Like training clothes don't have to be fancy. I think it's good to invest in key pieces. So things like leggings that are gonna last you. And if you do find one pair or one style that works really well for you, for whatever that might be, then invest in that, get a couple different pairs. But other than that, t-shirts and stuff like that, socks, you don't need to get anything super expensive. All right, something that is worth spending money on is footwear. Now I get a lot of comments about the fact that I train in socks. I train outside in socks, I train in the gym in socks if I'm allowed, and I train at home in socks. That's the benefit of calisthenics, why I love it so much. Well, one of the reasons. But I do have a couple of different styles of trainers that I'll always go to for certain types of training. Now I do have a bit of an obsession with any light colored trainers. So basically think of any trainers that you'd buy and the first wear you'd absolutely destroy them by scuffing them or getting them dirty and then you're never gonna get them back to that original condition. That's my obsession. So you'll see that there's a running theme with my trainers, but I'm just gonna take you through a few different styles and what I would use them for if I wasn't training bare feet, although this is always gonna be my preference if possible. So believe it or not, these are actually clean, but I don't think they're ever gonna get back to their normal condition. These are the Nike Epic Reacts, and they come in so many different colors. You can even customize them, but super, super comfortable. They're really stretchy. I never thought I'd like this style of trainer, but ever since getting them, it feels like you're wearing nothing. So for general training, if I was going out for a walk, if I was going into town and I needed some throw, to throw on some trainers, I would wear these. And if I was going to the gym knowing that I was gonna train bare feet, I would chuck these on as well. So super comfy, super, super cute. I get lots of questions about them, especially because the purple on the back is really nice, but fantastic pair of trainers for general use. So while I love the Reacts for general training, the knit that it's designed out of is not super supportive for your foot. So you can slide around quite a lot on them. And if you are jumping from side to side, your foot can slide or you could potentially roll your ankle. So for things like high intensity interval training or just generally higher intensity training, I will go for just a slightly thicker trainer. These ones aren't the knit fabric. They're actually like a, a proper woven fabric. These are the Nike Flex Contact. So gray with rose gold. Um, I, again, just picked them because I like the color, but I have a few different colors in these trainers and some similar styles to this as well, um, which I find really, really useful for that high intensity training. Now these are probably my favorite trainers that I own. I almost see them as a work of art, they're so beautiful. But these are the Nike Metcon 4, I believe. Um, I picked these up in America. Actually, I got these in the outlet, um, but I absolutely love them. They're baby pink with a kind of metallic back to them. The sole looks a little bit like catsick, I've been told, but it's also like pink marble. <laughs> um, and I would use these if I was training in the gym doing any lifting. So I don't really lift that often, but if I was gonna train and do squats or deadlifts or something like that, I would usually pick these up. The reason is because the sole is very, very solid. So it gives you a lot of support when you're doing those lifts and generally that's what they'll be used for. They took a little bit of getting used to. Um, it's not my normal style of training either that I use them for. So it did take a little while, but they are super, super useful to have. I usually just keep them in my gym bag and I use them when I need to at the gym. So I try not to wear them outside, which is why they're a lot cleaner than the other pairs, um, but they're just so, so beautiful as well. So super happy to have them. But that is the general gist of my trainers. If I'm not training barefoot, then I'll have one of those different styles 
on my feet, depending on what I'm doing. If I go for an actual run, I wear Asics Gel Nimbus, I believe it is. I've had them for a while. Um, they've probably racked up quite a few kilometers now, but I wear the proper ones, which have really good support and have been designed for my feet, just because I don't want any knee problems. But other than that, I'm pretty easy going with my trainers. All right, I think I'm just gonna run through two more different things. First one being my sunglasses, because I get a lot of questions about them. So the sunglasses I usually wear are from a brand called Key. You might have heard of them. They're an Australian brand, so you might be able to see them on the top of the sunglasses. Um, but I really like their sunnies. I don't know what it is in particular. I think the styles are really nice. Um, I think these ones, no, I can't remember the name of them. I'll find them and link them down below. I got these ones last summer. Um, I ummed and aahed over it for a little while, but eventually picked these ones up. And I really like them. They come in loads of different color frames, color lenses, and colored size as well. So that's those ones. And then these ones, which I've had since, since I was in Australia, since ages ago, is the Key Vivian sunglasses, which are like a massive aviator style. So really good. I mean, I've chugged these down the beach. I've had them everywhere. What I really like about these though is when you look through them, it's like a blue tint. So it's very clear rather than having a browny, yellowy tint to them. So those are my sunglasses. They are around 40, five pounds for a pair. So not super expensive, but they'll protect my eyes. That's the main thing. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna quickly chat about is jewelry because I get so many questions and I pretty much never change my jewelry. I have a few pieces that I never take off and they just stay with me. So the first one is this necklace. I get so many questions about it. Uh, this necklace is a molecule of adrenaline. Um, so the reason I have this on my neck is firstly because I studied biochemistry at university, I minored in it. And when my parents asked me one year what I wanted for my birthday, I knew that I wanted a, like a molecular structure piece of jewelry. And this is the one that I ended up getting. I chose a molecule of adrenaline because at the time I was struggling a lot with anxiety and panic attacks. So for me, it was just a reminder that it's just adrenaline, everything will be okay, and it keeps me grounded. I put it on and pretty much I've never taken it off. So it just stays on my neck the whole time and it's a fantastic talking point for people. Um, I get so many questions about it, whether it's online or whether I'm actually in the gym or in a cafe or anything like that. People always talk about it. So this is probably my favorite. It's from... Etsy, I think. I'm pretty sure it was from Etsy, somewhere in LA. I will have a look. If I can find it, I've had it for so long now, but if I can find the seller, I will link it down below because I get so many questions. Um, but it is silver. I never take it off. I shower in it and it's never tarnished, anything like that. So it is great quality. Okay, so the other piece of jewelry that I never really take off are my bracelets. Um, I have a couple of different bangles here. They have little quotes impressed into them. So this one says, breathe, and this one says, follow your dreams. I also have a couple of others as well. Um, and really what I do is I tend to pick these up from different places I've traveled. So I'm pretty sure this one's from Las Vegas. I have one from Paris. I'm pretty sure I have one from Sydney as well. And then this one is probably the most important one because my very, very talented mum made this for me. So she actually made this out of silver clay one year for me and then stamped the quote into it. And I absolutely love it. So she's super, super talented. Um, I never ever take them off. Really, it just reminds me of really good times in my life and messages that I should remember as well on a daily basis. Um, and then finally, I have, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I have this little bracelet with a peace sign on it. Again, it was given to me as a gift and I just don't feel like I want to take it off. Um, I'm just so used to having it there. It reminds me to relax, to take it easy. So um, yeah, I keep that on. I'm pretty sure this was from Thomas Sabo originally. Uh, it's lasted super long. I've had it for about five years and that's five years of pretty much never taking it off my wrist. I've been showering every day, going into the ocean when I was in Australia and stuff and nothing's ever happened to it. So that's my jewelry, that's my necklace. Um, I hope that answers some questions. I really hope I can tag some of it down below um, and you'll be able to have a look because I do get so many questions randomly from it. All right guys, I'm just gonna put my top back on. I realized I didn't put my top back on after we were talking about sports bras. So I'm sorry you guys had to look at that the whole time. But anyway, 
we are at the end of the video. I hope that that's helped you. Um, I'm sorry that it's mostly one brand, but it's just something that I've found over time is the only thing that really works for me. Um, I am always trying different stuff and I've just never really found anything that's quite right. But um, there's a few pieces that I picked up recently, so fingers crossed I'll find some extra pieces. So that's it. If you have any questions, you can drop them down below in the comments or you can head over to Instagram and you can chat to me over there. Otherwise, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one.